All right, before this video starts, uh, I gotta talk about some stuff really quick. I announced this on my you know, YouTube community and my Instagram and Twitter, but uh, if you don't know, obviously I had to postpone my April and May shows that I have coming up. I'm super bummed about it, obviously, but you know, I don't want people you know, getting in big groups and making this thing a lot worse than it is. Um, uh, also, quick uh, disclaimer about this video, I'm going out in public a lot and uh, just going everywhere in this video. And this was, I filmed this before this whole thing happened. So, uh, yeah, I have to say, if you are able to stay home, please do. If you have the option to, please take this seriously. Please stay home. Um, if you have to go to job, if, if you have to go to job, if you have to go to your job, obviously that makes sense. You know, we need to make money. Um, but yeah, just, you know, wash your hands, don't touch your face, all that stuff. And, um, you know, call your friends and family, you know, make sure they're doing all right. Anything you can do to help. I'll be here making videos. Um, I'll, it'll probably still just be once a week unless I have another idea to do, but maybe I'll do some live streams on YouTube. I don't know, man. Animal Crossing is coming out. Maybe I'll live stream that. Who knows? But yeah, that's it. Stay safe. Uh, wash your hands, all that. Uh, love you. Take care of each other because that's what Curtis Town is all about. All right. Enjoy the video. Hey there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's very good to see you again. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single video. So press that subscribe button to become a citizen of Curtis Town right now. Oh man, folks. All right, let's get into it. I'm fucking, I'm really tired. It is 9, 11, oh. It's 10 after nine. So some of you may know this, but a few weeks ago, I made a video about We Wear Cute called the Chaotic TikTok Sisters. If you haven't seen that, you know, I advise you to go watch it. But if not, if you don't feel like watching the whole video before this one, I get it. Uh, here's a quick recap, okay? So the two sisters who were actually on the first episode of the Bestie Picks Bay series on my channel, uh, they make really weird TikToks now. They make ramen in terrible, horrific, ungodly ways. They pretend to order things from restaurants. They get pranks ready and never show the actual prank, and their mom is a robot. Mom, look! Why are you hitting her with a rock? And since my video about them, they've only gotten weirder, okay? They're dipping Takis in Vaseline. The one sister is pretending to be a baby. Baby twice, Joey Flutes. Orange! Oh, juicy squirt! And also, they're holding Shaq hostage. Yeah. This is Shaq's first TikTok. And what does he need to know? How to eat jelly fruits. Mm, so jelly. jelly. That's right. Good Burger star Shaquille O'Neal is being forced to make some fucking TikTok and just say, so, so jelly. jelly. Actually, unless jelly like is his way of saying jealous. He needs jealous of all the people who aren't in that TikTok right now. <laughs> So the video I made, uh, I was just like poking fun of their content, you know, commenting on how bizarre their videos are. But when I uploaded it, uh, I didn't really, he I didn't hear anything from, from We Wear Cute. But then I saw this TikTok. This is the wheel of so beefy. We're paying one of these celebrities to make a cameo saying, so beefy. Let's see who's gonna get beef. Did you see that? See what they did? My name was on the wheel, spelt incorrectly. They're calling me out. They're calling me a stinky, little wussy, pissy, little crybaby, okay? And I won't stand for it. So you know what? We were cute. We got beef now. So, so beefy. beefy. <laughs> so you know what? You brought this on yourselves, okay? I gotta fire back. But before I do that, I need to know my enemy. I need to know what it's like to to be in we wear cute you know i need to i need to wear cute so today i'm gonna live like we wear cute i'm gonna do what they do i'm gonna eat what they eat i'm gonna prank what they prank and i'm gonna get inside the head of we wear cute without further ado let's get this fucking day started i think it's breakfast time right so let's go i'm out here now so most important meal of the day, right? It's breakfast. And I'm usually a big fan of breakfast food. And I look through We Wear Cute's TikTok to find any breakfast food that I can eat. And then I saw this TikTok. There's a winky face on the bottom of Rice Krispie boxes that have a gift inside. There's a gift. Amplifier for the Krispies. Wow, it's so loud. Pretty cool. So I went to Walmart and uh, I looked 
on the bottom of every single Rice Krispies box that was there. Didn't have a one with a smiley face, so guess I can't eat that. So you know what? We're gonna have ramen mac and cheese for breakfast. Fuck, man. My stomach, by the end of the day, is gonna be in rough shape. I'm gonna get an ulcer or something. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to film a fucking apology video, show it to my toilet. So I'm gonna watch the TikTok and uh, just get a refresher, you know? Ramen mac and cheese, it's a thing. Add milk, add flour, add your cheddar, mix it. It should look like this. Add your ramen and mix. Take your mini blowtorch and make it brown and enjoy. All right, so I have all the uh, accoutrements here, if you will. I'm gonna go, and I'm just gonna go cook up some ramen and then make the rest of it in this pot here. So Mr. Noodle, is there a Mrs. Noodle? <laughs> oh, it's steaming. It's too hot. <sighs> okay, the milk is in there. Now we gotta pour the, the flour. They, they don't say how much flour. They're just like, add your milk and add your flour. So I guess I kinda just gotta have to eyeball it. Add flour. Okay, that seems normal. Hey, stop smoking though. <laughs> add your cheddar. We'll stir this around. Mix it. All right, this is easy, man. Come to think of it, this might actually taste kind of bomb. <laughs> it, it should look, look like, like this. this. Uh, I got my cooked ramen here, and now I guess it's time to put it into the sauce. This is the moment of truth. Add your ramen. Oh, God. <laughs> now we just mix it. Oh, God. Okay, I think that's pretty incorporated. Uh... Oh, God. And, uh, you know, if I was a regular human being, I would just eat this, but, you know. Yoink! We gotta grab our mini blowtorch and make it brown. Oh, there we go. I'm making it brown. That's what I say when I'm on my toilet. You can't even see it on the camera. Trust me, look at the little black parts. Do you see it? You see, like I know what they were going for when they did the make it brown thing. You know, cause like the mac and cheese with like a heart, the crusty on top. You usually you put like breadcrumbs and then you bake it. You don't just fucking light noodles on fire, dude. <laughs> All right, got a fork, fucking bottoms up. Okay, <laughs> like actually not that bad. <laughs> I hate to say it, but this kind of hits. Dude, listen to the sound of that. That's what good pussy sounds like. <laughs> if it don't sound like that, I don't want it. <laughs> All right, well, now that we got breakfast, we got the food, I'd really like some coffee just to really upset my fucking tummy even more. But I've actually never seen them drink coffee. They never, they've never made a TikTok of them drinking coffee. But what they have done is they went into a Starbucks and they ordered holiday bag there. Get one holiday bag to air, please. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm over here now. I originally was going to go to a Starbucks and ask for a holiday bag there, but one, that would send my anxiety through the roof. Uh, and two, I used to be a barista. I used to be a barista at Starbucks. I, I worked there for like three years, man. And um, dude, if I was, if I was working at Starbucks, and some fucking YouTuber came in and was like, hey, you have any holiday bag there? It's for a YouTube video. Dude, I'd push him to the ground, throw hot coffee on him, and quit on the spot. I'd have to. And I'm not gonna do that today, okay? I'm not gonna ruin some poor barista's day, all right? They have it hard enough. I am going to ruin someone at corporate's day. <laughs> I am going to call Starbucks head office to ask them if holiday bag dare was ever a menu item. And I think we already know the answer to that, but I just need to be sure, okay? Corporate office in Chicago. Okay, here we go. Even this is making me fucking nervous, man. It's just a phone call. Please hold while we transfer you to the next available representative. Did you know? Thank you for calling Starbucks. My name is- Shalissa. How can I help you? Hi, Shalissa. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. I hope everything's going well with you. Good, thank you. Um, I just had a quick question. I saw this video online about some uh, item that you that Starbucks has. It's like a holiday item. Have you ever had a thing called holiday uh, bag dare? I have not. That, that doesn't that doesn't exist. I have not heard of that. Is it a drink or what is? Um, I I think it's just like a bag of. Uh, I'm not really sure what's in the bag, but I just saw the video of like 
They ordered it and then they just grabbed the bag. You you never heard of it though? I have not. Okay. So there was a holiday bag, you know, dare. Um, it could very well have Starbucks stuff in it, but it would not have come from us. Okay. I, uh, I uh, thank you very much. You are welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I think that's everything. Uh, thank you so much for your help. <laughs> You are welcome. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Take care. That was the sweetest woman in the world. Bag dare. <laughs> I dare you to be a bag. They lied to all of us. <laughs> and to think. We all bought it the second we watched it. We all thought it was, it was real. We believed them. But here we are. Feeling empty. Empty like a... A bag of air. Do you ever feel like a bag of air at a coffee shop during the holidays? <laughs> I think it's safe to say that all the secret menu things they do are fake. No shit. But now we know. Now we have concrete evidence. All right. Myth busted. Fuck, my stomach hurts, man. <laughs> and now to make it worse, it's lunchtime. Let's go back to the kitchen. All right, we're back in the test kitchen, the Curtis Town Test Kitchen. So for lunch, we're gonna be making the saucy, saucy ramen, ramen. I don't, which is just spaghetti. I, I don't know why they called it saucy ramen. Like when they're ordering spaghetti at a restaurant, they're just like, can I get the saucy noodles, please? And they're like, yep, spaghetti, coming right up. Would you like balls with that? Yes, I'd like the saucy balls, please, the meatballs. So let's watch the TikTok for a refresher, shall we? Add in your ramen. Quarter cup of tomato sauce. Boiling water halfway. A sprinkle of Parmesan, and wait. It's a thing. Okay, it's a thing. So water's boiling. Do you think any bags would get open if we not, if humans didn't have teeth? And in your wallet. Fuck. Imagine I've been so loud, can't even hear me. Oh, I gotta do tomato sauce first. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> It's their fault. It's because they spelled my name wrong on the, the wheel, okay? That's why I can't open it. <laughs> quarter cup of tomato sauce. I don't know what a quarter cup is. Well, I know what it is, but you know, you know what I mean. I don't, what's a quarter cup? I know what a quarter, and I know what a cup is, but together? Huh? And now boiling, boiling water, water halfway. halfway. Spilling water everywhere. So that's pretty cool. A sprinkle of Parmesan. You think if they didn't invent forks, nobody would open Parmesan things? My dog is crying. He's like, please don't do this to your body, Curtis. And now we wait. She didn't say how long to wait. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna stand here just like this for six years. And wait, and wait, wait. Barely cooked at all. Just the way I like it. It's a thing. Oh, that tastes like my ass. It's a thing. Fuck, man. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I want real food. <laughs> this may look like the Curtis Town Test Kitchen, okay? It may look very similar, but be believe it or not, this is a different place, all right? You just entered the prank zone. <laughs> You thought it was over. I got a belly full of noodles and I gotta burn off these fucking calories, okay? And what's the best way to do that? Pranks, baby. Good old fashioned pranks, all right? Some couple ha-has, couple practical jokes. So I'm gonna do some pranks, all right? But I'm gonna do mine a little differently, okay? Unlike We Wear Cute, I'm actually gonna go through with the pranks and show you the reaction. So the pranks I've decided to go with today are the fake cola prank and the wiener prank. Neither of them are gonna be on my mom because she is a lovely, great woman and she doesn't deserve any of that, okay? So I'm gonna do these pranks on my friends because they are not lovely women and they do deserve this. <laughs> I originally wanted to do the, the, the realistic rubber rock prank, you know, but I could not find the movie rock. I couldn't find the movie rock that they were talking about and using, okay? Whenever I search movie rock, big fucking surprise, Dwayne Johnson showed up because he is the movie rock. So we're gonna set up this uh, push pop prank. The way it works is uh, someone opens up a push pop, but instead of a push pop, it's a hot dog wiener. Wiener prank on my mom. This jumbo push pop might look like a push pop, but it's gonna taste so beefy. 
That's one meaty lolly. But I ended up getting some Push Pops, and you'll notice that I'm using the plural, and that's because I had to order them on Amazon. And I couldn't just order one on Amazon, obviously. So I got 18 Jumbo Push Pops. It was $50. I wish I didn't do it, but hey man, I'm doing it for you. I'm doing this for you guys. Ew, dude, the fucking uh, mascot for these are terrifying. Look at this nightmare of a guy. He's terrifying. Ah! All right, I sucked it dry. Now it's time to stick the wiener in. I feel like this is gonna get demonetized. <laughs> Should blur this out. <laughs> this this jumbo, jumbo push pop, pop may look like, like a push pop, pop but it's, it's gonna, gonna taste, taste so beefy. beefy. That's, That's one mini lolly. lolly. <laughs> All right, prank number one fucking done, dude. Uh, now for the fake cola prank. Now, I actually couldn't find the fake cola prank anywhere in person. I went to Spencer's Gifts to go find it because I know they have little pranks, but I couldn't find it there. And I'm technically banned from every Spencer's Gifts in the world because my friend and I got caught shoplifting there when we were 15. So I risked my life, dude. <laughs> I risked my life for this Coke. Fucking Pablo Escobar who? <laughs> but I found it on Amazon. I searched fake cold prank on Amazon and it came up. Um, but there was only one review and it was bad. It says, don't buy, didn't work. So I'm gonna take their word for it. So I'm gonna make my own fake cola with uh, club soda and soy sauce. Okay, I'm just gonna pour this Coke out. Oh, why did that hurt me so much? <laughs> uh, this video will be the death of me. All right, so the Coke is in the glass now. I'll drink that later. But first, I gotta grab my mini blowtorch and make it brown. <laughs> Just burning everything. <laughs> grab your mini blowtorch and burn it down. So now we're gonna put the soy sauce in. I'm worried that it's gonna smell too much like soy sauce, because the only thing that's gonna be in there is water and soy sauce. Oh, dude. I mean, that looks pretty fucking real. I think I'll add some of the Coke to this. <laughs> that way it'll take away some of the, <clears throat> the fucking soy sauce smell, right? I mean, that looks like Coke, dude. I'm gonna do a little taste test. All right, so the fake cola prank, ready to go. Wiener prank is ready to go. Now all that's left to do <laughs> is prank my buddies. So come along. After spending all that time in the prank zone, I was finally ready to go. So I hopped in my prank mobile, ready to take on the world. Casey Neistat, I'm coming for the throne. Actually the KC in Casey Neistat stands for Curtis Connor. A lot of people don't know that. Okay, so I'm gonna head over to my friend Jacob's house. He is the victim of my fake cola prank on my friend. I told him I'm filming a brand deal for Coca-Cola. Just lied, lied to my friend. Um, I feel bad because he was really excited. He was like super proud of me, but he was down. So we're gonna drive there and uh, we'll see you in a sec. Driving to Jacob's house. All right. Okay, I just got to Jacob's. I just did the best parallel park of my life. It's whatever. I'm feeling really nervous. Usually when I go, like before I go on stage, when I do like stand up, I'm very nervous and I get the nervous pees. I have to pee like 30 times before I go on stage. And the, the same thing has happened to me. I've, I peed four times before I left and now I have to pee again. So I'm really nervous, but we're gonna, we're gonna make our way up. Jacob, hope you're ready. I made my way up to Jacob's apartment, ready to prank his little socks off. He welcomed me in with pure excitement, but he has no idea he's about to get got so good. I sat down with him and explained how the Coca-Cola commercial was gonna go. And with everything in place, it was prank time. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. What does it taste like? Not. Oh yeah, that smells really weird. Take a sip. <laughs> yeah, that tastes weird. <laughs> Jacob just got pranked. Did I? Did I? You just got pranked. No way. There's no Coke commercial. What? There's a camera there, and that's it. What is this? It's a fake cola prank. 
on my phone. Oh, you got me with a fake. Is this one of your videos? <laughs> yeah. That tastes horrible. I know, it's soy sauce and club soda. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to vote for a second. I thought you were going to just not say anything. <laughs> I, <Which> really, <laughs> I really drank it and I was like, <laughs> let's take a second to be like, is this what goat tastes like now? <laughs> Well, well, thanks, thanks, for, being a good thanks for getting me, buddy. No problem. Well, the prank was a success. <laughs> and the best part, Jacob wasn't even mad at me. He politely bid me adieu, and I happily made my way back to the prank mobile to get ready for my next hoodwink. Okay, so now I'm gonna head over to my friend Dean's house. Uh, he is the victim of the push pop prank. I'm gonna tell him I'm filming a video for my second channel where I'm uh, ranking my favorite candies from when I was a kid, and Push Pops is at the top of my list, and I need a video of us just sucking on some Push Pops, you know? Just sucking down some Pops. So I'm gonna head over there right now. I tried to film myself while driving, but I almost immediately got in an accident, so I stopped. But I made it to Dean's and went to grab the Push Pops and, ah! Sorry. <laughs> Scary little guy. I grabbed the Push Pops and started to explain my fake second channel video premise to Dean. And just as I expected, he bought it no questions asked. It's prank time. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a push pop? I love one. Oh, oh great. Okay, that was blue. That's perfect. All right, so three, two, one, cheers. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, what is that? There's a push pop. Oh. <laughs> It's a hot dog. I was hoping you wouldn't look and just put it in your mouth. No, good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Good I'm, job. I'm, yeah, I'm good job. Hey, it's all good. Good job. <laughs> I guess I'm not sorry. But like... The wiener prank didn't work. I guess all along, the real wiener was me. I left Dean's house defeated. But the day isn't over yet. I still have one more thing I have to do. Fuck. Uh, didn't work. I guess he he knows a wiener when he sees one. And that's fine. I'm thinking maybe I should have, like, painted it blue or something. You know, maybe put some, like, glitter on it. I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. I mean, one out of two, you can't win them all, right? Um, but I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty hungry for some more shitty ramen. So, uh, I'm gonna head home. And you know what? I'm gonna make some dessert. Because it's been a long day, and I deserve it. Okay? I deserve it. It is dessert time. It is dessert time because it has been a long day. I deserve a treat, okay? So I'm gonna make some cotton candy ramen. I can have one cotton candy ramen as a treat. Cotton candy ramen, it's a thing. Cook your ramen. Add two drops of your cotton candy flavor. Add your cotton candy color. It smells so good and looks even better. How to make a delicious carnival ramen treat at home. Let me just fucking tell you, dude, I, much like the, the push pops, I went through the fucking ringer to get this cotton candy flavor, this fucking thing, this tiny bottle. I had to go to a wedding cake store. I didn't even know those existed. Um, but I went to one and I got it. She did say it's very strong, so I need to be careful with how much I put in. Um, I have a bowl of cooked ramen here. Ramen. I'm gonna pour in a little bit of cotton candy flavor and then some cotton candy color, which is like, I guess just like blue and red because there is no true cotton candy. Uh, color, you know? Like if someone was like, hey, what color is that car? You're like, oh, it's cotton candy colored. No one says that. And they make it impossible to open, which is really cool. Oh, there we go. The chomper's coming in clutch again. God bless teeth, you know? I'm so fucking tired, man. All right, I'm gonna add my cotton candy flavor now. Uh, a couple gloves, okay. Holy flavor. shit. All right. <laughs> Oops. Mix that around. <laughs> How do they make cotton candy oil? How does... Do they milk a cotton candy? Straight up, stop lying to me. Do cotton candy got tits? And here we go. Add your cotton candy color. Some drops. It just looks like blood. Now blue, red and blue. Hey look, it's Superman ramen. Super ramen. Now we mix. Oh God. It's like a crime scene. Man, if it don't sound like this, I don't want it. <laughs> It looks like a dead fucking like wig. It looks like a dead clown wig. Like if you found a dead clown's head in your like dumpster, this is what the top of it would look like, you know? All right, everyone. This is as good as we're gonna get. It smells so good and looks even better. I unfortunately don't have fangs like they do in the video. We have fangs. We have fangs. False alarm. Jenna came through with the fangs. 
Don't say that. <laughs> so now I can really be part of We Were Cute. Let's go. All right. Bottoms up. I can't do that with that. Cause yeah. Oh god. It's not even. It's not sweet. If that makes sense. It's really bitter. Cause I think usually you put this in with like stuff that's already that already has sugar in it. Yeah, that's the worst one. That that is worse than the saucy ramen. Hey, don't do that. Cotton candy ramen. Forget it. Trash it. Don't do it. Ramen mac and cheese though. This kind of hits. In conclusion, what do we learn? What do we learn, folks? We learned you should never do what I did. Uh, you should make ramen the way that it's intended to be made. Do I regret doing this? Good question. Yes, absolutely I do. I, I miss my chair. I miss sitting in my chair making jokes. Did I have a good time? Did I learn something? Yes, I did actually. I learned that cotton candy ramen takes, looks like a dead clown's head and also tastes like one too. Okay, so don't have it. Seriously though, what I did learn, we were cute. Fucking hats off to you. I have so much respect for you guys and what you do. How do you do it? I don't know. I'm conv I know your mom is a robot, but I'm convinced that you guys are as well. Cause no human, no regular human could live off a diet like this. You must be, I'm, I need real food, okay? I just don't know what to eat. Curtis, why don't you just make a HelloFresh? You know what, handsome stranger? I think I will. I'm gonna go make a HelloFresh. And you know what, why don't you come along? Because they're actually today's sponsor. Let's go! HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit, and they make cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. We've been using HelloFresh for a while now, and it's one of the best decisions we've ever made. We have so much fun trying new food and cooking together, and it takes a lot of stress away from us when we're deciding on what to have for dinner. And it's easy to get stuck making the same dishes over and over again, but with HelloFresh, you can choose from over 22 seasonal, chef-curated recipes each week and break out of that dinner rut. And I know you're all busy little busters, and it's tough to find time to cook a nice, healthy meal for yourself. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes, or even 20 minutes with their quick recipe options. Another awesome thing about HelloFresh is the packaging they use to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable and or already recycled content, and their pre-portioned ingredients mean less prep for you and less food waste. Hold on, Curtis. Weekly meal deliveries? What if I'm out of town for an extended period of time? Great question. HelloFresh is super flexible and they make it so easy to make changes to fit your schedule. I'm away from home like once a month basically because of my stand-up shows and skipping a week of meals is as easy as going tap 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 on my phone a few times. And you can even add extra meals or throw in yummy sides and desserts like garlic bread and cookie dough if you want. Now this all sounds amazing, right? Well this deal's about to get a whole lot sweeter. The folks over at HelloFresh have hooked up an awesome deal for the citizens of Curtistown. Just go to HelloFresh.com and use code CURTISTOWN10 for 10 free meals including free shipping. Wowza! What a tasty deal! Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and many others in the past. They've been supporting my channel for a long time now and it's really awesome that they still like me because I like them a lot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, go check them out because it directly supports me and my channel. And you'll quickly learn why HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. Alright, thank you HelloFresh. Oh yum, that was some good food. Alright, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Uh, please press the like button. That'll let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. Um, I had a lot of fun. I'm very tired and my stomach hurts, but I had a lot of fun today actually leaving my house and uh, you know, actually doing stuff, making stuff. It was fun. It was a good time. So let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And yeah, just leave a comment. Let me know your ideas. Also, don't forget to press the subscribe button because I make a video every single week. And as soon as you press that button, you become a valued citizen of Curtis Town. If you don't know, Curtis Town is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor. So you have to be nice to me. If you want to see the other things I do, uh, you can check the description. I got my Instagram, my Twitter down there, all that shit. My weekly podcast called Very Really Good that I do. Um, if you like my videos, you'll like the podcast as well. It's a good time. But yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you. Uh, it's too soon, huh? <laughs> too soon to say that. Uh, I do have to go, though. I have to skedaddle, you know? I have to shit for the 90th time today. So, goodbye. Curtis got a coke <laughs> That's good for him. I don't think you're ever gonna get one now. I know. <laughs>